What up guys and welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Sass Girl, and today is a video that y'all are probably have been waiting for. I'm going to be reviewing the Death Note TV show and the live action. Now, I literally had to take notes because my memory is so shitty and I usually forget the certain details I need to be spoken about. So I had to write them down so that way I don't forget a thing. Now, I just finished binge watching the TV show. If y'all don't know what I'm talking about, then pause right here and go watch the TV show. Have fun. It's a good show. There's like, I will warn you though, there are 37 shows and there's only one season. So enjoy. And if you've seen the live action one, then you're about to know about the TV show that it was based off of. For my opinion, oh, and one more thing. This might be split up into two videos. So if that happens, y'all are probably going to be waiting for part two. So this is possibly part one. All right, so Death Note. It, this, it's previously from Japan. The TV show is actually based off. Mm, it takes place in Japan. While well, this live action one, the movie takes place in America, which pisses off some people that enjoy the TV show, which is understandable. Like, don't fix what's not broken. That's pretty much the saying. Some of the Death Note fans would agree with the changes, some do not agree with the changes. Me, I love the show. But, oh my god, I pinpoint what stuff they have not put in the movie and some stuff they had changed for the movie. And it kind of pisses me off. But I love the movie. I love it because it's stupid and it's funny. It's mostly, mostly because it's funny. And y'all will know why here in a minute and the other reason why I love the TV series. So, it's a, so the TV show, there's... So in both the TV show and the movie, there's a main character that, well, strangely enough, the last names are different. There's Light Yagami from the TV series, which I took forever to remember the last name, and Light Turner from the live action one. These two, I'm going to talk about them last, because I have a bone to pick with Light. Um, so yeah, they're the main character. So he's the main character. In their TV show, he's known as Smart. He's known to be a smart guy. He's got the girls, uh, good grades in his class, until he comes across the Death Note, which a Shinigami, aka the Death God, Ryuk, has dropped upon this world. Because it was mostly considered the fact that he, in the TV show, it says that he was bored and he wants some excitement. In the movie, Ryuk does it because the last holder passed away. So he's giving it to Light. The thing about the Death Note, if you don't know, if someone's full name and if someone has a picture of that person in their head and writes down their full name in the Death Note, that person dies. In the TV show, this person's got 6 minutes and 40 seconds until they die. And in the movie, it just happens immediately. And that's weird. Okay. So, Light has everything in the TV show. And then he comes across... Uh, so that's when all the killings started. Uh, he starts learning the Death Note, using it, thinking that he's going to make this make this world a better place. Make, make sure there are no criminals... And it actually seems to be working. But then a character comes into place. He does not say his real name, but he goes by the name L. And he has, I think, a father figure. Uh, you can call him a father figure. Watari. Now, L in the movie... I just don't know what to think of him. At first, when I watched the movie itself, 
At first, I liked L. He seemed really smart. But he got to the point of Kira, which is a name that in the TV show the Japanese the people give him. Light was act actually gave himself that name, but we'll get to that part in a minute because that involves another person. But yeah, L is incredibly smart in the TV show. He's very smart. He does not point the fingers at anyone. He just knows that the Kira, that Kira is in Japan. And it pretty much shows because most of the killings started in Japan. That's where they all started. And Kira just started killing people that just shows up on the TV on the nightly news. And that gets... A lot of heads turn in. Yeah. L in the TV show just randomly out of the fucking out of fucking nowhere decides that Oh, hey guys, guess what? This name this person Kira is not Japanese. And people suspect that Kira is actually Japanese. Even the cops fucking believed it. And says, ah, that name is misleading. Yeah, this person's actually here in America, in Seattle. Or something like that. And possibly a teenage boy and immediately suspects someone. He suspects Light immediately and confronts the guy. Okay. The one detail I forgot about Light is that this guy... In the TV show, he is shown to love sweets. He enjoys it. But in the movie, they decide to give him a reason why he eats candy. We don't need a fucking reason why he eats candy. And there's no reason to say, like, was Hari explaining that he eats candy to stay awake? Candy does not keep you awake. And that's the dumbest detail that they had to change for the movie. Give Elle a reason to eat candy. It's, uh, they don't even give Ryuk an, uh, they don't even give an explanation to why Ryuk likes apples. In the TV show, they actually give a reason why Ryuk likes apples. And like he said, it's like what alcohol and cigarettes are to humans. That's what apples are to Ryuk. They're addicting. And he even gets withdrawal symptoms, which I always look up the withdrawal symptoms video and I just laugh my ass off because it's hilarious. But yeah, that's when Misa Amane, is that her name? Is that her last name? Or Misa Misa. I'm just going to call her Misa. This chick comes in and is the second Kira. Whereas in the movie, this girl's name is just Mia. This girl, I'm not a big fan of Mia in the movie at all, because I have it in my notes here. She is a psycho bitch. She is very psycho. She wants to kill everyone, and Light decides to show her the death note like 10 minutes in, or 15 minutes in, whatever. Misa from the TV show comes in episodes later, as the second Kira, and she has the Shinigami eyes. And what that is, is that when the person who has the Shinigami eyes looks at a person, they will see the day that they're gonna die and their real name. And Light sees that as an opportunity to manipulate and use her and how to get Elle's real name. Which she does not deliver. Because, well, she sees his name, but forgets it later because she loses her memory. And also the thing, whoever touches the death note can see the Shimigami. That is the rule of the TV series. Well, Mia touches the book in the TV, in the, excuse me, the movie. She does not see Ryuk at all. They don't even use Shinigami eyes. Ryuk does not bring that up. And it's frustrating because they took so much from the TV show and decided not to put it in the movie, which is pissing me off. 
I had to help out my husband for a moment. Sorry. I heard his car coming. But yeah. The other thing about L is is that um in the TV show, he never goes out in public. I mean, he went to public, but only on a TV screen with just the letter L and a voice modifier. That's it. But in the movie, he just straight up goes in public. This is covered up. He's wearing a hood and straight up goes, kill me, yeah, kill me. I dare you. I pretty much just looked at this L and this L and just went, okay, both of you are smart, but one of you is a dumbass. But he even straight up, here's the thing about L's, uh, L. What's already is known in the movie. He walks around not hiding his face and passing his name around. So Light's father knows him and even manipulates him. In the TV show, Watari is hidden, not known anyone else, other than the father, the investigators, and Light. That is it. And Light does not kill Watari and L until close to the end of the season. And I say close, I mean a couple of episodes before the season ends. And L suspects Light, telling him straight up when they first met as cat and mouse, that L is 5% sure that Light is Kira, but lies to L saying, uh, no, lies to Light and says, you're about 1%. I believe you're cured of just about 1%. In the movie, he straight up goes to Light and says, I know you're Kira. I am 100% sure. Even shows his fucking face to Light. And Light does not even hide the fact that he's Kira. He just cracks under pressure. While the TV show, Light is going, I'm not Kira. Why would you think that? The other thing about Light, his mother is not there, and his sister is not there in the movie. He does not have his mom, because she's dead, and has no sister. She does not exist. It's just his father and him. They only exist. In the TV show, it's him, his sister, his mom, and his dad. And his dad, in both places, are cops and are investigating Kira. But no cops in the movie suspect Light is Kira. It's only L, and the cops hate him. In the TV show, L suspects Light is Kira and backs it up. Even puts him under surveillance in both places. But Light pretty much outsmarts him in the TV series. The change of rule. There's also changes to the rules in both Death Notes and both the movies. The rules are nowhere similar to the ones in the movie. Even Rule 28 in the movie says no. Each death has to be physically possible. Okay, Ryuk did not put that rule in the TV series. At all. <laughs> Light is smart in this movie, but he's not that smart. Not until he meets Nier, or N. Nier does not show up at any point in the movie at all. He does not show up. And not even Rim, the Shinigami, did not show up in the, t in the movie. That's about time for this video. I will see you guys in part two. And like, comment, subscribe. Let me know what you guys think about this movie. Until next time, I'm out.